So, welcome. Welcome to the latest TED Talks development. Now we are standing in front of a grade two listed gatehouse. That is not my house. Grade two listed stuff, although fun, although it can be profitable, I just cannot be bothered. Imagine telling a builder, mm, don't cut that joist, it's 200 years old. Oh, sorry, geezer, I cut it. Anyways, I digress. We are in front of the entrance, or the pre-entrance entrance, to my latest flip. Now over my shoulder, like I said, is the gatehouse. So this would have been part of the old Merton Grange estate. That would have been the house where, you know, the caretaker, whoever lived, go down the drive, and down there we have the workers' cottages, probably built by workers, but very good, because, you know, structurally, the soundest properties I've ever purchased. Uh, and you go down the long drive, and our properties are on the left-hand side. Now, this is a heavy conservation area. This town centre in Gamlinge has a huge number of listed buildings. For some reason, ours is not, which makes life a lot easier. However, I think me and the neighbour have both chosen to follow the listed kind of guidelines and, and conservation area guidelines because we have to, but also because I think it's really important to do so. So welcome to the front of the house. You've seen the drive walking up and now we are directly in front of number 51 with a new restored door with a nice golden sign and new locks um, and a really old school letterbox, which is really, really tiny. Now here we have a planter. Uh, I thought it'd be nice things we're in the countryside to decorate this area. Um, I know buyers don't necessarily want to look after plants and it can be seen as a bit of a headache, as you can see the sum over my shoulder. But in terms of pictures, in terms of people coming here and the perception, this is kind of needed. Uh, I think if it was a new build in a city center, I don't know how much I'd bother with this, but because of the surroundings and because of, if you show what's happening next door at the moment, if you show, there we go, it kind of detracts from that a little bit. So we built these planters out of timber sleepers. Again, the price of timber is ridiculous. Um, and we barked this whole area here, put a little bit of bamboo fencing here as well, picket fencing up there, and a few flowers here, you know, kind of built kind of mini planters there with bark in after we did some new gullies and drainage. And the front, now this color, you may recognize this or you will recognize it as it matches the kitchen, it's forest green. Uh, I could have put a new, you know, UPVC or composite door on and being green, and, but there's, there's character in this cottage. I mean, if you look at the height of the door, it, you can call that character, um, slap your head on the, the top character, but I decided to keep it. This was all sprayed black, new, you know, kind of antique handles there and kept those in gold to kind of match the bathroom, which you will shortly see. So this is the front of the house. Again, a nice old kind of style light here, which is a PIR light. So it comes on as you walk because there aren't any street lights here. It is pretty dark. So it's kind of a functionality thing here. And it also looks pretty cool. And of course you can see the new windows, but uh, let me show you inside. 